Good day from Livestream.Travel in Honolulu. We're bringing you breaking news updates from eTurbo News from any place in the world. Please get ready to listen to our latest story on ETN. If you have news to report or you like to be featured on one of our upcoming podcasts, simply go to Livestream.Travel and click on Contact. Here is your news update. Hawaii tourism will not reopen as planned on October 15th. There are more problems in paradise, there are more problems for Hawaii's travel and tourism industry. Only the island of Oahu with Honolulu and Waikiki may reopen for tourism arrivals as originally planned and ordered by Hawaii Governor Ige. The Aloha State of Hawaii was planning to welcome visitors from the U.S. mainland without the requirement of a mandatory 14-day quarantine if a passenger provides a COVID-19 negative test done within 72 hours prior to arrival. Airlines had been getting ready to transport again visitors to Hawaii. United Airlines said such a test can be done hours prior to departure at San Francisco Airport for a $250 fee or prior by mail. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell had told E Turbo News on September 15 he prefers second testing after arrival but confirmed today that Oahu plans to participate in the state's pre-travel testing program. Mayor Caldwell maintains a two-test program would be preferable to the current option, but also understands the current restrictions on testing capacity. Kauai Mayor Mayor Kawakami made this statement. We have not yet made a determination. Decisions must be deliberate and we can't commit to plans we don't fully understand. Our goal from the beginning has been to supplement the governor and lieutenant governor's statewide travel plan. The option to opt out is a recent development. As we understand it, our proposal was denied in part because the state aimed for consistency across the board, so visitors would not be confused. How does the option to opt out achieve that goal? If each county were to opt out, where does that leave the statewide travel plan? We need more details on what an opt-out means for the counties, and whether that provides the option for us to implement a single test post-arrival program. If we were to remain in the program, the lieutenant governor has committed to implementing enhanced testing, such as a surveillance testing program, and we look forward to hearing details on how that will be implemented on October 15th. Our goal is not to extend a mandatory 14-day quarantine in perpetuity. Our goal is to keep our community safe while we take a phased, responsible approach to reopening. We believed we could do that by offering an enhanced second test program. Hawaii Island Mayor Harry Kim said yesterday, he was opting out for the state's pre-travel program starting October 15. It means anyone visiting Hawaii Island, also known as the Big Island of Hawaii will be required to quarantine for 14 days regardless. E-Turbo News reached out to Maui's Mayor Mike Victorino. A spokesperson for Mayor Mike Victorino said the mayor had not made a decision yet. Maui County also includes the island of Molokai and Lanai. In summary, as of now only the island of Oahu with Waikiki Beach are a 100% reopening for visitors. Thank you for listening to another edition from Livestream.Travel. We will be back with more updates from eTurbo News soon. If you have any questions or you like to be featured in one of our upcoming editions, simply go to Livestream.Travel and click on Contact. For more information on the Travel News Group, publisher of eTurbo News, Hawaii News Online, Travel Wire News, and many others, go to TravelNewsGroup.com. Thanks again for listening. We'll be back soon.